right, let's do some un unpacking, Frank. Let's do it. Got some Himalayan quartz. Oh, look at these. Or a dude in the newspaper. <laughs> That's how you know this uh, crate is uh, genuine from Pakistan. <laughs> uh, generally, all the minerals from Pakistan, they come in these uh, uh, steel boxes. So, let's grab a few and let's go unpack some minerals. This, by the way, this is my favorite part of the job. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's also Frank's. <laughs> yes. Let's see, start. All right. All right. Let's unpack. Let's we'll, go. Let's get. Let's we go. only have one scissor, so I'll cut it for you, Frank. Okay. Awesome. Right. I get. To, I get to. I get to uh, get, take them open. This is honestly the, the best part about uh, this is just unpacking and seeing what you get. Yeah. Because, you know, Kai, you, when, when, when you buy these. Um, you buy the whole lot, right? So yeah. you don't, you don't, you don't know. So this is, guys, this is actually Kai's first time, like, you know, seeing what 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 he bought. Um, and wow, look at how they're wrapped, guys. They're just. <laughs> it's the, each country, what I notice is they wrap minerals with toilet paper. Every country. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, toilet paper is probably fairly soft and uh, ac yeah. accessible by everyone. Yeah. Yeah. See, when we were finishing up our Tucson show, we ran out of packaging material. We went to Walmart to buy a bunch of uh, bounty paper and toilet paper. It works. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this crystal. This is a wow. Quartz cluster. It's, see, that's, that's got a nice yeah, matrix on it. So let's get a closer look. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very nice. This is definitely the most fun part about uh, the mineral business is unpacking. Packing's not fun. Yeah. I had to pack Frank's order. Oh, wow, that took a while. It's just, <laughs> just, just like what, 50 minerals? Yeah. Check out this. This is what I got, guys. This is, uh, it's, a, it's a nice singular quartz point on a matrix. And you can see the matrix bed, which is really cool. And then the cluster. Not quartz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we picked a pretty good box. If it's all Himalayan quartz, it'd be a very boring uh, unpacking video. Yeah. I mean, we lucked out. Hashupe mine, I think. No, actually, maybe the Tormek mine. Tormek. I bought it from uh, a villa, a miner from the village of Tormek in the Skardu Valley. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look, look, look at this, guys. This is a quartz bed with a crazy kind of, was it black tourmaline? It's black tourmaline. Black tourmaline formation, just like a spire. Oh. I mean, wow, look at that, guys. It's a little bit crumbly, but um, this this is really unique stuff. Can it stand on its own? Let's, let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 it's a little bit wobbly. A little wobbly. Yeah. yeah you don't. Yeah, I would use a stand. You don't want to just tip over. Yeah. yeah. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's very good. unique. So let's lay it down like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's another very cool. Oh yeah. Himalayan quartz. Look at that. Yeah. I got another. Uh, I got a really cool. This is like quartz and, and green tourmaline. Let me take a look. Oh, oh, good save. Good save. It's great. It's very, really, it's very like delicate too. Oh, this looks something good already. Look at that. Oh wow. Green chloride with quartz. And that's those are nice points. Yeah. Very nice. nice. Green quartz. The Skardu region produces a lot of uh, Himalayan quartz with uh, green chloride. So uh, the nice ones like these, they, you can fetch pretty good money. Actually, this one, look at the, the points are perfect. Yeah, so this would be a piece that can be easily sold over $100. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's got a very nice matrix to it. Yeah. That's oh, a, look at that. It's a tabular quartz. That's a, on the matrix, it's tabular, and it's just a single piece poking out. Um, that's beautiful right there. That's actually very, very unique. And it's also water clear. Uh, no damage on the points here. Which, you know, we were talking about Himalayans, you know, having damage because of how hard it is to carry that, you know, quartz down a, a 17,000 feet elevation mountain. 
Um, this one right here was, was gorgeous. This is no damage, beautiful matrix, beautiful ports. Um, that's absolutely stunning right there, actually. Oh yeah, this is probably my favorite quartz we just unpacked so yeah. far. This yeah, one's yeah. nice. Wow, this is um, perfectly. Yeah. And you know, guys, we, you know we, we've been talking about the mineral. I, I haven't said too much about like the metaphysical properties of it. Him, I like if if you were to ask me, guys, like Himalayan like quartz. What kind of quartz do you prefer as far as clear quartz? Because you know, clear quartz comes from all over the world. I really, really, really like the Himalayan clear quartz. Um, both physically and metaphysically, right? The energy. Uh, quartz in general gives you clarity, um, gives you metaphysical clarity, metaphysical vision, also clears your mind and, and helps you assist with that. Um, but the clearer the quartz, the better the quality, the, the stronger the energy. And when you have Himalayan quartz like this, it's, it's really powerful. It's good stuff, really good stuff. So I'm gonna check out this point, Frank. Oh wow! Oh, that's a crystal healer point. like these kind of points, right? Yeah, it's, it's a it's a it's a singular point. Um, it's got a really nice window right here, actually. You a really clear window you can see through uh, if you were holding it. Um, two windows, actually, no. Yes, two windows. One, two. But this one right here, I really enjoy. Um, this this point has good clarity to it as well. This is pretty pretty typical of, of uh, Himalayan clear quartz uh, points. Uh, good good clarity. It's got the water. Wa it's water clear is, is what. Uh, oh, water clear is like the description for it. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's see. You know what's funny, Frank? Sometimes mm -hmm. uh, the unpacking takes a lot of work, but. I like to do it, so I don't let my employees do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, until, oh, check out this one. Here we Himalayan go. quartz uh, with a uh, nice piece of a uh, little aquamarine here. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a nice little aquamarine just sticking out right there. Yeah. So in the Felspar matrix, you can see some black tourmaline, but uh, this black tourmaline here probably broke off. Mm. The black tourmaline is sticking out, and mm. well, this would be a very valuable piece. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Here I have a. I just unpacked a cluster. Now it's got am, it's actually got amethyst points on this one. Uh, if you guys can see, I've got a little amethyst right there, a little purple. You, you can see the purple hue, and as well right here, there's two two to three am amethyst, light purple amethyst points, growing on top of of, of a quartz point. So you know, and, and right here as well, you see you can see shades of purple right here. So this cluster is actually amethyst, because uh, quartz, clear quartz, and with amethyst on on top of it. It's really nice, really unique. Mm, yeah, we're trying to find the amethyst mine in the middle of Himalayas. Check that out. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, so far no luck. If we do find one, oh, we'll strike it rich. Yeah. All the uh, African amethyst, uh, was it those one in Namibia? The Bra yeah, Bradberg or uh, Brad, Brad, yeah, yeah, from and those from uh, Nigeria, from Zambia. They all go out of business. Mm -hmm. So I think it's overpriced. Yeah, if, I, if my team finds a cavity with Himalayan amethyst, ooh, that's my dream. <laughs> my mining dream in the Himalayas. Oh, check ooh, out wow. this. Oh, Look at thanks. that. Why don't you uh, guys, show everybody this? Guys, check out the uh, black tourmaline uh, crystals on this piece. This is this is like this is fluorite, right? <clears throat> no, this is uh, that looks like that's albite. Albite, okay. Yeah, in albite. This is a this is a black tourmaline with albite, but if actually you can... no, it's feldspar. Oh, feldspar. Feldspar. Yeah. yeah. It looks more like feldspar. Mm -hmm. Feldspar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's feldspar. Check out, but check out the black tourmaline strands and how kind of clean and well terminated they are on this matrix. It's beautiful. Actually, this is a really beautiful matrix. Good. It's got good dimension. Good matrix. Good cubes. Right. Good. good like in depth kind of. Uh, formations and and the, the, the formations of the, of the crystals of tourmaline here are just something else. This is really cool. Uh, this is this is this has been so far a really great uh, a lot here. You've got a lot a lot of cool unique stuff. Moving on here, uh, I'm opening a small piece. This feels like a clear quartz or or a quartz crystal rather, like a point. Um, usually when they're kind of long and, and and just like this, you know, they're probably not clusters. So we'll see. This is this is actually an elestial. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is a smoky elestial, and this this one you can see how it regrew right here. 
and just kind of double terminated points all over. Um, this is similar to actually what they have in Brazil, right? The Alesto mm. is in Brazil. Yeah, this is uh, pretty rare in the Himalayas. Yeah. yeah. This formation is quite rare. Hey, look what I got here. Oh, oh wow. Look, big let's smoky go. Hey. Uh, hey, Frank wow. Energy Healer. How wow, does this one feel? Man, this, this, first of all, just physically talking about the physical properties, this is amazing. Like this is a, a really, 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 really like sharp point. It's, it's long and it, it's every side has striations or Lumerian is what they call it. So this would be Lumerian uh, quartz. Um, you can see the bands on it on every single side. It has some rainbow color on this side too. Oh yeah. yeah if you look at, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't know if the camera can pick this up guys, but there, there are rainbows in this beautiful piece. Yeah. And smoky quartz is all about relaxing. Uh, smoky quartz, is, it really helps you relax and, and even out your energy and soothe you out. Um, smoky quartz is great. I've spoken a lot about smokies in the past and one of my favorite, actually one of my first, little known fact, uh, one of my first stones I ever bought was a smoky quartz because I liked it so much. I was instantly drawn to it. So this, this, is, this is a really, really nice, oh, just a nice piece. Good, good clarity. Yeah, it's uh, a natural point. A lot of the crystal yeah. uh, points you buy, big ones in the marketplace, they're all human hand polished yeah. to get the shape, but this is natural. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Well, we're almost done with this lot, guys, and so far, I'm, I'm opening the last one here, and so far, this, this has been wonderful. This is actually has been such a unique uh, lot here, everything we've kind of unpacked here. Um, and we're just having, you know, we're just having fun doing this and just seeing what, uh, what Kai got, uh, you know, and, and this is this is great. Um, I was surprised that this this was an all clear quartz point. So I'm actually happy that this is a good, unique uh, mix. All right, the grand finale. What you got there, Frank? <laughs> the grand finale, guys. I hope it's some aquamarine or something. Oh, we should there. have a guess. We should. Let's feel this out. Let's yeah. Have a guess. I you know. I'm gonna like, guess black tourmaline cluster on yeah, and uh, feldspar. It, it feels like a cluster. Yeah. Um, and also. E I, what I like to do is I like to feel the energy of the stone, and you can do it, you know, through through the uh, um, through the tissue here. And this this does feel like a black tourmaline with with quartz in it. We'll see. We'll see. It, it's a very relaxing energy too. Yeah, we'll see. So I'll take all this tissue out. Oh gosh, a lot of tissue. Uh, see a little. Probably something good. See, see quartz points coming out. Like I said, it felt relaxing. So it might be smoky quartz, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is, this is something else. Just gotta keep unwrapping. Let's, let's see what is it. Oh, I think we're it's both a, off. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a quartz with chlorite, right? Yeah, it's a quartz with chlorite. Yeah. So, okay. so chlorite is a, is a green it's a green colored mineral, and that's where I felt the relaxing energy. Um, I thought I felt a little bit of quartz too. I just didn't know it was chloride, but I felt a relaxing, calming energy. You can see the one Kai has in his hand. Yeah, this is it's a similar. Much one. Yeah, but you can see the color there. It's all chloride, the green. Sometimes it grows inside of the crystal and it gives off that green uh, hue inside the quartz crystal. But um, yeah, this 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 is cool. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, this was a nice little unpacking experience. Uh, favorite part of the, of the job. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing what you got, and this is a nice, really nice kind of uh, good variety. Variety, yeah, yeah, good variety. A lot of, I mean, this. Look at that. That's so cool, guys. Yeah. Which, Which one's your favorite one? This. Uh, it's got to be either this one or that one. You know, that one is just so unique. I like the black tourmaline. This one is just so pretty with that singular, singular tabular double, double pointed quartz. And it's also really clear. So. Yeah, what's cool about the crystal is we all have different favorite. Yeah. This is my favorite. Oh, oh yeah. These two. Oh, I like these two. The chloride. Yeah, oh, chloride yeah. Chloride and this uh, Now that, this now this, this cluster here, this is just, this has got to be, yeah, this is, this is way up there. This is a very yeah. delicate specimen. All right, so we just finished unboxing everything, and this is all minerals from the Himalayas, and check out the star of the show here. This is this was the best one. What do you think about this one, Kai? This is definitely the best Himalayan quartz uh, that we unpacked today. Well, it's fun. it's interesting because uh, I remember this piece when I was in the Himalayan mountains in Skardu uh, purchasing. Like some really good and unique pieces, you always recognize it when it come out. So when I saw this today, it's like, 
Oh wow, this is peace. Ah, it's good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another very uh, uh, good piece to share with everybody is... This is probably the most expensive piece we unboxed today. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, look yes. at that. We have uh, Himalayan quartz with Muscovite and Topaz. Look at these Imperial Topaz. Very, very rare to get this peach-like color. Almost like a Morganite. Oh, that was a loud train sound. Yeah. yeah. So this is worth something. Uh, this piece is probably worth uh, a couple thousand dollars. Very, very rare to find a peach color uh, Imperial Topaz. Yeah. And this one is natural. How do you tell it's natural? It's not heated. Because if you heat treat it, uh, the quartz turns black. So, oh. so a lot of minerals, if you see the quartz is extra smoky and very dark, they, it's uh, heat treated. And, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Now, those two were the best. What other ones impressed you in today's find? Well, other ones impressed me. Mm, let's see what are some other ones I like. Oh, I like this. Oh, Look yeah. Nice little tourmaline from uh, Astaknala uh, Valley, the, which is near Skardu. It's in the Skardu district. Yeah. So look at that, some tourmaline with uh, clear quartz and uh, clevedonite, clevedonite crystals. Yeah. Also another, yeah, the, the clevedonite is the, uh, the tabular flake looking ones. Yeah. And uh, this type of tourmaline is what a lot of uh, people in the marketplace in uh, Pakistan, they heat it, the cap turns uh, pink, and then, uh, but they don't disclose that it's heated. So this is a natural state of the, uh, of the uh, Tourmaline. So on here, on certain pieces that are heated, you'll see the cap that's clear. It'll turn purple, and the quartz will turn gray. I mean, gray or uh, black. Yeah, Cleveland dye won't change. That's cool. Let's see. Gonna. I actually really like this piece too. Yeah. It doesn't look anything special, but uh, but look at it. There's no damage. All this is natural termination, and there's green green chloride uh, covering the. Uh, the entire crystal. If you look clearly, this is crystal clear. Yeah. yeah. Let's outside. actually put it up to the light over here. Yeah, yeah. or to the outside. That's yeah. perfect right there. Right. Yeah. Look at yeah, that, guys. Right. It's clear. Yeah. All the way through. So, so this cool. would be a piece that people with Donghai will buy and carve into a Buddha and sell it for very expensive. Mm. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, let me see if there's other that's uh, worth maybe one much. last one that's worth one mentioning one. what do you think of this one frank i really like this one it's double it's, it's a double terminated point with yeah. beautiful uh speckles of green tourmaline embedded inside of it yeah. i think this course was amazing actually yeah, this one i told frank there's two pieces in the entire uh <laughs> lot i bought one other piece is perfect perfect six-sided shape side crystal terminated with a lot more uh uh, green tourmaline, but that piece didn't come out this crate today. So <laughs> maybe we'll save it for next time. Yeah, next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. there you have it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's always fun unboxing. This is the best part of minerals. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <best> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing what you got. Um, All right, guys. We'll see you later.